So in today's video, I want to try something new, something different. So I want to do the Fiverr challenge. I've seen a bunch of content creators. So what I want to do is do the same thing. I want to test out for myself. And I pay, what I did was I paid three designers. No, sorry. I paid two designers uh, in different price points. The, and then the price point that I set for myself was 25 and 30. Does the $5 make a difference? Is it worth spending the extra $5 to um, get a better output for quality work? Um, let me know now, down in the comments below if you think if you should you get what you pay for by paying more to get the excess quote unquote quality. Just to show you the preview, the preview I gave was really up to them, but it's really simple. All it, I wanted was um, the five faces. Uh, if I'm not sure if you play League, um, I got really into it this past season. Um, unfortunately, I hit bronze, but if you guys do want to play, uh, let me know down in the comments below and we could uh, duo and hopefully hop on the stream. Okay, so basically this is the brief that I gave each individual. So what it entails is if you play League of Legends, um, there's a skin line called KDA. Um, I'll pop open the skin line on top right. So the characters of KDA are the five characters. So there's Kaiza, there's Akali, Ari, there's Evelyn, and there's Seraphine. That's a whole nother war we'll talk about. But to make it fit in the logo that I wanted, it had to be five. So I want basically their close-up faces and uh, have them in their KDA skin line. Super easy, super simple, right? So the price point I paid this person was $30. Uh, just to let you know who this person was. They are... This is the individual that i got 40 43 reviews 4.9 good old good ratings from just starting for be becoming a beginner right so not bad right and then this person actually came up with so at the at the end of the day this person came up with this design um and this is basically this is this is contestant number one so they came up with this. Kaiza, Kali, Evelyn, Seraphine, and Ari. Um, as you can see, this is something I like. Something about this, though, is about Evelyn's nose. And I guess this is supposed to be Kaiza's little blaster. Um, and the only thing that bothers me is Evelyn doesn't have um, reddish or brownish hair. Because in her skin line, it's supposed to be like an ombre, blonde, and black look but case point to be on the second artist that i did was i paid this was 28 dollars, i believe yeah 28 dollars, 25 plus the fees that they gave me so this person here this person here i paid i think it was forty dollars, thirty to forty dollars, but he only charged me um, thirty thirty dollars. So plus the fees, thirty three dollars in total. So this is what he gave me. Um, so this is what he gave me. This is the second artist that I paid uh, the thirty dollars ones. The one, the first contender was twenty five, but with the, the fees and everything, came up to thirty three sixty five. Yeah. So basically, I wanted to do a threshold of 25 30 and then 75 so uh the next person that i paid was the 30 dollar one so this is the person that actually came up with the 30 dollar piece of the same logo and as you can see here this is the person that what they came up with um i guess this is a collie but i don't see a collie having red hair i don't think that so if you gotta take a guess for me just looking at this, I would only know two players or two people from this skin line. This would be Kaiza because that's her KDA prestige line. This is Ari because you can see the scars. Um, you know this is Evelyn because she's the only one wearing a hat, but like she doesn't have the whole um, red hair. She doesn't have red hair at all. Only in her other skin line, which is the, the sushi one or the the chef the chef one and i'm assuming from what the comment said what i 
had to clarify with him was this is the ocean skin line from seraphine and that is way the fuck off so i tried to do some edits with him the comments go goes on further about how um about how i couldn't understand of like the skin line this is the kda skin line as you can see from the rep the point of reference that i gave him this is no red this is pink so i don't understand how he got that motion even the kda skin line alone it's not red there's no red in this photo um in the skin line itself um so then he told for instance he used seraphine's um as this drawing and that's a different skin line and then he sent me this one to readjustment and he just changed the background <laughs> he just changed the background he didn't follow the the instructions but applaud to him to at least try it best what's funny about this next artist is i actually found them off of just a twitter post um people would the people who i follow on daily artists and daily uh, digital artists they would repost their artwork and uh lucky enough i dm this person to see if they want to join the challenge um the another thing is that her price point i wasn't expecting it to be that high because i thought it's gonna be like 50 60 but just for the video sake um she she charged me 75 and I, and that 75 was well worth it uh, so for hers she charged me 75 dollars, and i feel to give my honest and biased truth i feel that this um price point is well worth it because i thought 75 dollars um is kind of steep plus that me doing this challenge um my very first fiber challenge itself but i feel it was like totally worth it so will you give me a quick second so this is actually what she came up with so as you can see clearly just from viewing it the colors the the outlines the the shades of what appears to be you could clearly see who's who you could clearly see this is a collie. You could clearly see this is um, Evelyn with her glasses. You could clearly see this is Seraphine with her blue um, KDA skin line. You could clearly see Ari with not only with the scars, but with her blonde hair as well. And as you may know, I'm a huge Kaiza fan, and Kaiza, uh, her default color palette is purple. And she always has this bang coming down her face. And you could tell that is her. Compared to all these three from side to side, one and two. This is to my right where my mouse is. This is the $25 one. To my left, it's the $30 one. And right here, be comment down below to see, to let me know which one was your favorite if I just stopped the challenge at $25.30. There's only a $5 difference, and I feel like you could clearly see a huge difference just pay paying the extra $5. But now, but now as you can see, I've added an additional challenger to add onto this fiber challenge. I feel you could see an extraordinary amount of effort and work and dedication because it's higher threshold. You can see that from the $25 mark that um, it's a huge difference. The right side um, is the $75 one and then the left side <clears throat> is only the $30 one. Yes, it's 30 uh it's 40 dollars more but like you get more quality for paying this much um and finding an artist like this person who i found um is insane um to believe to that i found this artist through a twitter post don't get me wrong i'm not bashing on this person on the fiverr um don't get me wrong i'm not bashing the person on the left for not doing a great job he did the person i asked did the best what they can but like the person on the right uh did a wonderful job in executing what i asked them to do even on the left side if we switch roles this is what the best they could think of and it's a great job just from just from standpoint i loved it at first sight don't get me wrong but then when i saw this when i saw this 
Um, this blew me out the waters. And I feel that this person um, did a great job executing what I, what I asked him to do. So again, guys, thank you for joining this video. Uh, again, let me know down in the comments below on which one was your favorite. Was it the one that I liked? Was it the very first one, the $25 point price point? Was it the $30 price point? And, or was it the, the $75? Would you pay more to get quality down in the comments down below? Which one was your favorite uh, in the comments down below? And I'll see you guys next time.
In today's video, we'll be doing uh, the Fiverr Challenge. The Fiverr Challenge, what it entails is me paying uh, these designers um, to make the same logo. I paid two designers from different price points. Uh, one price point is at 25 and the other one is going to be at 30. We're going to see at the end of the video what they come up with and I give them the same draft or the same brief uh, and let's see what they come up with. Tune in the end of the video to see um, Tune in the end of the video to see what you like. Comment down below of which one was your favorite. And yeah, let's check it out. When I first was creating this video, I wanted to just do two. So it would be just really simple, just, just a high and then there's a low. But now uh, we want to see a midpoint. So I actually found a, a Twitter designer uh, that I've, I found an artist off of Twitter that um, meets that threshold. So now I paid three artists uh, to design this one logo. So at the end, stay tuned at the end of the video, comment down below to see what your thoughts, um, to see what they come up with. Excuse me. The price point I created for myself for the set artist, for the two artists, will be 25 and then 30. Let's see how they do um, on creating this concept. And what I wanted and what what I wanted to have fun and like see what their thinking process is. Is it worth as a buyer the five dollar extra to create that quality? Is it worth more to pay extra um, to see the quality of work that that they are providing you, the service that they're giving you? Or is it should you spend that five dollars elsewhere and pocket the five dollars when you don't even need to? Let's see uh, at the end of the video, tune in to find out, comment down below which one is your favorite, and let's see what they made. 